Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Ranger here, back with another episode of Minecraft Middle Earth. It has been a while since the last time we have ventured into our journey of Minecraft Middle Earth, but never doubt, we are back. So, in the last episode, we wandered to the town of Bree, and explored a little bit around there, explored a little bit more of the Shire, and all that lovely stuff. So, in this episode, we will be... It might be a little shorter of an episode, but... Trying to keep this intro shorter. But we will be exploring a few more places. Not really in order, but I'll just be basically jumping between. And, yeah, so if you head a little bit north of Bree, you will wander to one of the more iconic scenes in the Fellowship of the Ring over here which is well the pixels aren't even loading so you know what we're gonna climb to this top top of this mountain and I'm not gonna be revealing what it is until we get there but as you can tell all of this is like really handmade like the structure that we're going to is on the top right there and that was all handmade so I, I just imagine that being quite a pain because well to be honest it's quite a pain to even walk up so imagine having to build all this stuff I mean with the help of the many people that are on the server a lot of things get to build up real quick like I heard that I wasn't part of the server when they were building Helm's Deep but I heard that the actual wall where in the movies all the archers stood and stuff went up in like it's humongous in the server so just for that but I heard it went up in the, about like 20 seconds I don't know with all the people but, th but this is really the only part that I'm really not too thrilled about in this uh, build is there's like a structure up there like I told you and it just kind of kind of seems weird with this overhang I don't really know I don't know if that was included in the books or the movies or whatever but uh, I don't know it, it just kind of bugs me but it's just a little pet peeve I'm sure most of you guys don't remember this long hike up a mountain to get to this scene in the movies but if you actually read the books you'd know that the, it took quite a, a long while for the hobbits and Strider, as he was known at the time, to get up to the top of this mountain. Um, climbing up. I feel like I should start yodeling for some reason. Um, I don't know. It's just like, reminds me of climbing the Swiss Alps back in the day. Oh well. So, you probably can't tell from what we're seeing right here what exact uh, uh, structure it is but you will once we get in here for those of you who read the books the film adaptation of this place was really kind of inaccurate to the books but you can only stay so close to the books when you're making uh, the movies so We'll just stand right in the middle. I'm sure most of you guys can recognize it by now. This is the structure, stronghold, whatever you want to call it, the rundown city, not really a city, of Weathertop. Yes, like I said, a very iconic scene in the, yet both the movies and the books. It is where it's the hobbits and strider camp out for a night they were supposed to meet gandalf here but he just like no showed just like he does in the hobbit he kind of has like a tendency to do that but yes it's all for important things but th they eventually are attacked by the nine ring wraiths here and fro this is where frodo is stabbed with the more gold blade but then strider just comes along like an ultimate badass and just like slices them all up i mean he doesn't really kill them but you know what i'm saying it's it's pretty awesome and in the film adaptations it's kind of just like a little circle area but 
um, it, it, it explains in the books that this was actually a stronghold for the armies of Middle-earth until it was attacked by Sauron's forces and basically just torn to pieces like it is um, represented as in here. So, like, you can see staircases that have been blown out and all this stuff. It's actually a really nice build. I really love it. Uh, so, uh, we can just explore around here a little more. So, this is fun. I, I really am sorry for the lack of videos as of late. I explained basically what happened in my last video, but I'm I'm glad to get back on the server and start making videos of it. So, yeah, we basically explored what Weathertop has to offer here. So, I will meet you back at probably my favorite place, one of my favorite places in the entire Minecraft Middle Earth. S see you there. So imagine this. You are, it is a dark and stormy night for the companion of 13, companionship of 13 dwarfs, Gandalf, and, well not Gandalf at this point, and Bilbo Baggins. You are hungry, cold, wet, and desperate for food, warmth, and all that stuff. So, then, off in the distance, way out in this general area, you happen to see a campfire. This is one of my favorite scenes, probably my favorite scene of the first Hobbit movie. It's my, probably one of my favorite scenes from the Hobbit book, and definitely my favorite part to play through in the Hobbit video game that came out for the GameCube and stuff a long time ago. So, the dwarfs tell you since you're the burglar, you're Mr. Bilbo in this scenario, that you must go investigate the campfire out in the distance. So, warily and creepy, you go to investigate the campfire. You climb up this you climb up this hill just to find what is this it's a band of three trolls ah there i didn't really i forget what their names were i think it was like bert tom and jerry tim and jerry i don't know if I'm thinking of the cartoons. But yeah, so here are the three s trolls that were attacking Bilbo and the 13 dwarves. So imagine this guy right here. He just like picks you up by your ankle and says, Hey, guys, wanna eat this guy? <laughs> he looks delicious. And then 13 dwarfs just come rushing out of the woods, start beating the crap out of these dwarfs, but, or not dwarfs, but trolls. But eventually you just get ransacked and literally put into sacks. So they're about to eat you. You're, some of your friends are being hung over this fire campfire to be slow roasted, while other you guys are just over here and in the sacks and you come up with a genius idea to prolong time a little bit to to really mm, what how do you say just stall the trolls to wait to eat you when out of the woods appears Gandalf and he casts a spell to make it all bright and whatnot, and they all turn into troll stone trolls. <laughs> they kind of messed that up, but yeah. So this is like, I don't know. I just find it so awesome that they included these stone trolls. If you have ever played the 
Lord of the Rings, uh, Lego Lord of the Rings video game, you can find them, and in the Fellowship of the Ring, in, I think, the extended edition, just for a little while, while the fell er, the Hobbits and Aragorn are going to Rivendell, just like the dwarfs were, you might be able to see them out of, like, a corner of the screen or something, I don't really remember, but... I just love this scene. It's so hilarious with these dwarfs. Or, huh, why don't you call them dwarfs? Well, the dwarfs are pretty hilarious. They're like, I have tubes and mites and evil uh, bugs and parasites and crap like that. And and there's like snot running out of their noses and they're just drooling it. I just find it absolutely hilarious. Then badass Gandalf comes in, of course. Of course, and knocks all of them out. So, after all this, you're kind of gaining your wits about you. You just start to explore, because, you know, trolls shouldn't be down here at this time of the year, and they have to have a cave nearby, or else they would turn into stone when it comes to sunlight. So, you go searching for their cave. So, let's search for a cave, why don't we follow this trail, and, <gasps> there's, oh wait, what just, oh, okay, <laughs> there's the cave right there, dare we enter, we dare, we dare, see, we just got a nice normal little cave, what's this down here, what do we have? Ooh, a campfire in here. What? What is this? What is this? A chest? What's in this chest? You do not have permission to open that in this area. Oh. Okay. Well, imagine that Orchrist and Glamdring, Thor and Oaken Shields, and Gandalf Sword are in here. And what's this over here? What's this? What's this? This is Sting. Oh can't open it either. But imagine there's a short little sword of elven craft, really nice, that Bilbo ends up naming Sting, which is a, it's kind of like the real hero of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, if you kind of think about it. I don't know, that's kind of weird to think about, but it's, it's kind of like it. It's kind of like it. So, I really like how they included this little thing. I don't know. This is just my favorite, one of my favorite places in Mi Minecraft Middle Earth. Kind of just because, like, you could have not included it, and the experience would have been, I don't know, not a lot of people would have not noticed that it's there. But now that you did include it, it's kind of like a hidden Easter egg if you really think about it. I don't know. It's, it's cool. It's cool. So, uh, I am going to pause the video right here and meet you all at the final scene that we are going to be exploring for this episode. It might just be a little quick part, but yeah, I'll see you there. Alright guys, we are back again to at the next place, which apparently must not have been very important to the people at Minecraft Middle-Earth, considering there's not even a warp, and it took me a little while to find this place. But nonetheless, we are at the forward, right in front of the Elven Lands of Rivendell, where this is basically the scene, it's, I don't know, it's a pretty big scene in... Not a very big scene, but it's pretty cool, a pretty awesome scene in the uh, Fellowship of the Ring movie, where Frodo is riding on the back of Arwen's horse, and she is basically has to cross over this water, but over there come the Nine Ring Wraiths with their riding the ominous horses and their swords flaring and. <laughs> that noise, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, but Arwen just, like, uses her elven magic just to summon a whole bunch of water horses and completely washes them away off their horses and dissuades them and buys Frodo and Arwen enough time to get our, or er, get Frodo to Rivendell to heal his, somewhat heal at least, 
his wound from the Morgul blade. So I guess we have a little bit of time left. So I'm just going to show you just what's next on the agenda. But just by traveling along this little route right here. My friends and I got into an argument today about uh, how to say whether it's root or route. Let me let me know what, in the comments what you guys think it is. But I I honestly think it's root. But then my brainiac f friend who always likes to disagree with me on everything said it's route and a root is what's in the bottom of a tree, which I don't disagree with him. It's just a personal preference of mine. But I don't know. I just have always said root my entire life. Hmm. So over here we have this giant mountain that yes, we do need to climb. That kind of seems to be like a theme of this episode. Climbing mountains. But nonetheless, we are magical, amazing adventures of Middle Earth. So we can just climb it because we have a journey to accomplish. This isn't even the worst of the mountains that we shall climb. This isn't the worst. This is not the worst. Sorry about that. I just I just felt that was necessary. <laughs> mm. So me and a whole bunch of my friends we are going to go see the Lego movie tonight. That will probably be f fun. I'm pretty sure uh, Nightmare is coming along with me and all of my a whole bunch of my other friends. So we're all going to see the Lego movie. So if Nightmare does go, you can expect a collab from us. Uh, probably a movie review as he likes doing the, that kind of stuff. Doing the movie reviews and stuff. Sorry if the video just skipped right there. I uh, well, we are getting high. We well, not in that sense, but we are getting pretty high. There's clouds up here, but yeah. So sorry if the video just skipped. My mom just came into my room for something. I don't really know, but as your weary eyes come around this bend of a mountain, you look, and behind you you have the elven magnificent city of Rivendell.